Okay, uh, welcome. This is Sean Roberts uh, with the Lincoln Network. Lincoln Network. I am the Chief Technologist. Um, I have with me Justin Robach, um, and and uh, he is the Ottawa County Clerk um, and uh, Register, Ottawa County Clerk Register in the great state of Michigan. Uh, and this is Lincoln Shorts, and we are going through and uh, um, uh, talking about some uh, issues uh, from the perspective of the voter. Um, so here's another one for you, Justin. Um, what should the voter do if they are registered absentee um, and they decide to vote in person? And um, to make that a little, I should make that a little bit more clear. Um, let's say the add a bit of a, um, a caveat to that. If I registered and voted absentee, or excuse me, make sure. it very clear. Let's say I drop my ballot, my absentee ballot in the mail. Um, and a great example is, let's say it's very close to election. So I'm concerned, this would be a common concern, I, I hope, or I think, um, that uh, it's very close to election. Let's say it's uh, the Friday before um, the election. Sure. And I'm concerned that the, the mail, it might get, not get there in time. Um, so, uh, and that my concern dries, uh, dry, literally drives me down to the polling place the day <laughs> of the election. And, um, and I go in and I say, hey, I, I voted absentee via mail, but I'm concerned. Uh, sure. So I'm here to vote in person. Um, what, would, what would happen after that? Well, luckily in Michigan, there's a couple of different ways you can check that before you get in the car and come down to the polling place, although you're certainly welcome. Um, you can go online, michigan.gov slash vote, and actually check the status of your absentee ballot. So um, we encourage voters to do this all the time. You can actually see when your ballot was mailed to you from the clerk. So kind of when you should be expecting it to come in the mail. You can also see when it's been received by your local clerk. So if, there's, if, you're, if you're going online, if you're concerned, I would definitely you know, take that first step, michigan.gov slash vote. Um, and if you don't see that it's been received, at that point, um, you can always call your clerk as well to verify, mm -hmm. and that's an important element of it as well. You know, Michigan has a very decentralized election system. We have over 1,200 election officials in the form of local jurisdiction, city, and township clerks. Um, and these clerks know their voters. These clerks have, you know, even the more urban areas, they have staff and, um, you know, the resources to um, know their communities. Um, so those are two options to verify. But in the event that it, it is election day and it has not been received in the mail, you have, uh, you have the option, certainly have the option of going into the precinct to cast a ballot. So um, I guess take a couple of examples. We, we get a lot of calls right now from people who say, you know what, I applied for this absentee ballot um, and I've got my ballot, but I actually, you know, I feel comfortable going into the polling place with where we're at right now. I want to go in and, and vote. And that's completely fine as well. So if you have not dropped your ballot in the mail, you haven't turned it in, um, bring that ballot with you to the precinct. Mm, okay. So you don't have to open the envelope. You just bring the whole thing with you if you want. Um, and then that ballot gets turned over uh, to the election workers at your local precinct. Um, that's put in a separate envelope. Uh, the ballot is not counted, but it's stored safely and securely by your local clerk after the election day. And then you can vote a regular ballot in the precinct. So you that's one Switch from absentee to in-person. Um, on the exactly. fly, as long as you you uh, basically hand over uh, your official exactly. ballot that's absentee. Excellent. Yes. That's so crazy. the other option is if you don't have that ballot. So say you applied for the ballot, um, maybe you got it, mailed it back, and it hasn't been received yet, or maybe you got it and the dog ate it, or whatever other you right. know things happen to the mail. Uh, we know that happens sometimes. You can still go into the precinct. Um, there's a legal document that you have to sign. It's essentially an affidavit stating that uh, your ballot was either lost in the mail. Um, you don't know what happened to it. It was destroyed, not received by the clerk. So you sign that legal document, and then you can proceed as normal and vote a normal ballot in the precinct as well. Excellent. Um, so um, if it, but let's say it wasn't received. So the, um, if it wasn't received, so you checked online and it wasn't received, it, um, but it was, it's in the mail someplace. So sure. uh, 
for whatever reason it hasn't been counted day of um, or verified as being received. It gets counted obviously the step after that. Um, and it's day of election. So you're concerned, you drive down, you tell them with, in that case, would they give you a provisional ballot? Is, is that the correct term? And allow you no. to vote in person? Or yeah, what would be the it, process from that point? In Michigan, it's not even a provisional ballot. So it's not considered oh. provisional. It's okay. actually a regular ballot. And the reason for that is we have systems in place to check that. So uh, in Michigan, uh, statewide, we have electronic poll books in use. Those poll books are not connected directly to the internet, um, but the voter data as of 4 p.m. on the day before the election, all of that data is in the system. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I walk into a precinct and I um, you know, present myself as a voter, they're gonna type my name into the poll book to mark me off the list. And that poll book will automatically show the election worker a message saying, Justin Roebuck has received a ballot, an absentee ballot. Right. Or alternatively, it will say, Justin's, Justin's ballot has been returned to the clerk's office. So if I'm attempting to vote uh, a second time, right. having that ballot actually been received by the clerk already, um, the election worker will know that. Um, however, okay. if my if my ballot simply has has uh, I may have received it, but I've not voted it, um, then under Michigan law I can still vote a normal ballot in the precinct. So it's not considered a provisional. Obviously, we go through that documentation of either surrendering the physical ballot that I was given, the absentee ballot, or signing a legal document saying I don't have it, um, I'm not in possession of it. Um, so that is obviously a felony to vote twice in the state of Michigan, as it is most states. And important to point that out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that that document basically creates a paper trail that if I'm lying on that affidavit, uh, I could be prosecuted for. For instance, violence. attempting to vote in different counties um, on the same same day. Exactly. That would be an example. Or registering. Um, okay. Well, I think that really clears it up. I think. Uh, that's, that's interesting, uh, the way that you describe it, it sounds very similar to the state of Washington. Um, uh, although sure. it, some other things are different as well, obviously. <laughs> right. So um, it's important to uh, exercise these details. The, the more the, um, the voter understands these things, um, the more that they can understand how their state, especially if maybe they moved from the state of Washington to Michigan, they can understand the, the yeah. finer points and uh, what works in one state may be slightly different than next. So thank Absolutely. you for clarifying that. You bet. Well, this has been Lincoln Shorts.